Hello everyone, in today's video I will be showing you how to create a Google Cloud Storage Bucket using the command line interface or CLI. So the prerequisites for this video is that you should have Google Cloud SDK installed in your local environment. And if you do not have it installed, don't worry, I have you covered. So there are two videos that I previously released on how to install Google Cloud SDK on your local machine and I have included them in the description so be sure to check them out. Okay so like I mentioned in this video we will be going through the process of creating a Google Cloud storage packet using CLI or terminal and generally there are two ways to create a GCS packet. Uh, one that most people use is through the console or the browser and the other one that we'll be covering in this video is through the CLI, uh, and that's the second option really, uh, and we will be covering that uh, today in this video, all right? So through the CLI. Um, and um, the utility that will enable us really to achieve this functionality through the CLI is called GSUtil. And uh, GSUtil is really nothing but a Python application that lets you access cloud storage uh, from the command line interface on your command line or terminal if you're using one. And uh, with uh, this tool, really, you can do a wide range of um, functionality or tasks. Uh, for example, you can create or delete the packet. You can upload uh, objects to your packet. You can list objects and packets in your account. And also, you can move uh, you can copy or rename objects as well uh, using this command. All right, so like I mentioned again in this video, uh, we will be going through that process. So I'll be showing you how to create a packet. All right, so let's get to it. So I'm going to go to my Google account and log in and navigate to um, Google Cloud Storage. So this is uh, my dashboard for Google Cloud Storage. And uh, basically to get here, all you have to do is go to um, log into your account and go to cloud storage and go to packets, okay? And uh, it will bring you here. So currently I have three packets open. Uh, so packets are really like containers where you can uh, store objects in there. So I have currently three of them. And in this video, I want to show you how to create one of these packets using uh, the command line or the terminal. All right, so to do that, like I mentioned, you should have GSUtil um, or SDK in general installed. And I, in the previous video, I went through the process of doing that. So I'm not going to go through that again, but definitely if you don't have it installed, uh, you can check that video out, okay? Uh, so I'm going to go to my command line uh, right here. And what we want to do is, like I mentioned, we want to create a packet. So before we do that, let's list the current packets. Uh, and we should be able to see something like this, okay? We should be able to see three of them because I already showed you here in the console. So um, let's also see the same uh, through the CLI. So I'm going to go here and type the command gsutil and we want to ls. So basically this one will list the packet in your um, Google Cloud Storage account. Um, okay, so this one currently, uh, like I mentioned, we have three of them, so we also see the same here. So um, these are the same pockets that I have currently in my GCS uh, service account. Uh, so what we want to do is to create another one. Okay, so how do we do that? So it's a very basic command. So all you have to do is uh, uh, type this command, gsutil. So GSUtil, you always have to start with GSUtil. That's how you tell um, uh, the Google that you want to create a, a storage account or you want to interact with the Google Cloud Storage Account service. So I'm going to do GSUtil and the command for creating a packet is MP. And um, I'm going to create, so let's say, so you have to do this, right? You have to specify the path. So you have to do like this. That means it's Google storage and name for the packet that we want to create uh, comes after this. So let me see. 
uh, I can create a packet called demo packet. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, somebody should have taken that. So generally, the rule is that it should be globally unique. So uh, you know, I don't know if somebody has taken this, but we can we can try it out. Uh, and then just enter. Okay. So they should create a packet if uh, it's a unique name. All right. So all right. So this one. Uh, complaints here that it already exists so we have to try another one so let me uh, maybe do one two three uh, and try that again probably somebody might have taken that I don't know um, okay let's see all right so that one went successfully okay so this bucket was created and uh, to see if it's already um, Showing up in our list, we can do the list again. So gsutil ls, and we should be able to see this uh, this one on the list now. Okay, so right here. So this is the packet that we just created. And if we go to our console um, in Google Cloud Storage, we should be able to see the same. Okay, so if you refresh here, uh, up here, uh, right here. Okay, so that is the same packet that we created. All right, so that is really the process of creating a Google Cloud Storage packet using CLI or Terminal. And um, if you want to read more or about GSUtil, uh, just go to, um, or you can just type um, GSUtil commands really, in your browser. And it will bring you here to this uh, documentation that Google has provided for GSUtil tool. Uh, so if you click that, you'll see and you'll find a lot of information that you can use uh, regarding GSUtil. Um, so how to install it? Um, if you're using Python, how do you specify it in your Poto configurations? Um, uh, I think Poto three is for uh, AWS. So if you're interacting with this tool from AWS. Uh, it also gives you some of the APIs here. <clears throat> and uh, this one um, is a sort of a cheat sheet for GSUtil commands. Uh, so a number of these are really the commands that you can use. So for example, the one that we just used here is for MP. Uh, this is for making a pocket. So it gives you a lot of options here in the description of what this command does. So for example, we just created a, uh, a packet there. So there are some additional options that you can include, like the class, for example, this near line. Um, if you want to uh, include some other locations like this, so you can do that. So yeah, you, you, you can do a lot um, uh, with this GSUtil command. So for us, we just did the basic one, but uh, if you want to utilize a lot of these other options, definitely check this um, uh, page out. And I'm going to put this one in the description as well so that uh, you can have it handy for yourself. All right, guys, so that is uh, what I wanted to show you today. Uh, again, if you have not subscribed to this channel, uh, please take a second and click the subscribe button. I'll be doing more of this. So if you want to stay updated, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Okay, all right, thank you guys.